On Thursday, the 24th of September 2020, Elephant and Castle Shopping Centre closed its doors for the last time. During October, it is to be demolished. Then the plan is to replace it with a new development of shops, restaurants, bars and housing which has been dubbed the Piccadilly of the South. It is to include a new campus for the London College of Communication and a new ticket hall for the underground station. If you're not familiar with the shopping centre, you may be asking, so what? After all, the shopping centre is hardly the prettiest building out there. It's often been called an eyesore. Demolition has been on the cards since at least 2003. But this is missing the point. The shopping centre opened its doors in 1965, intended to be the first American-style covered mall in Europe. It was part of a wider scheme of regeneration in the area following the Second World War. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work out like that. The centre wasn't as popular as hoped, and the majority of the retail units were empty on opening. But it wasn't quite a white... Um, elephant. The result of its unpopularity with big retailers was that many smaller family-run and independent businesses moved into the vacant lots. A market was set up around the foot of the building. It developed something of a community feel, more like a high street than a mall. It had a bowling alley and a bingo hall. It wasn't cool and exclusive, it was a place for ordinary people. In the past couple of decades, it became a hub for the Latin American community of South London. And so, in a weird way, it became an icon, though not in the way the original builders hoped. But of course, Elephant and Castle is on the edge of Zone 1, an easy journey to Westminster, the city, the South Bank or the West End. It was inevitable that it was going to be a target for redevelopment. Many locals are not happy about the new development. It's seen as gentrification. Forty of the traders have complained that they have not been offered anywhere to go. Southwark Council have countered that 35% of the new development will be social housing. It was originally to be a far lower number. And that those traders left without a place to trade were ineligible to be rehomed. One can't blame the locals for being sceptical. A few years ago, the nearby Haygate estate was demolished. Its residents were scattered across London, and those who owned flats were offered a fraction of what they were worth. Fred Manson, the director of Regeneration, controversially stated in 1999 that social housing generates people on low incomes coming in, and that generates poor school performances. Middle-class people stay away. 500 social housing units were promised in the new development, which dropped to 82 when the final plans were announced. Overseas investors were given first dibs on the new flats. There were other controversies surrounding the development, but I don't want to derail this video any further than I already have. So what now? Whether you love the building or hate it, there's no denying its importance to the community. The elephant outside, the last remnant of the Elephant and Castle Inn from which the area takes its name, is to be taken down for restoration before being installed in the new Castle Square. The bulldozers move in for the rest this month. Will the elephant rise stronger and better than ever? Will it be another instance of generic... Uh, gentrification that has wiped the character from so many neighbourhoods? Or will it have the same fate as the old shopping centre, thwarting the money men and becoming another community hub? We'll see. Hi all, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, there's a like button by which you can express that, and you may even wish to subscribe for more. I must admit, I usually avoid videos about current events, because they're so liable to change. I still feel a bit stupid about my video on the lockdown, asserting that we'd only have three weeks to cope with. But I'm weirdly affectionate towards the old shopping centre. Was it ugly? Was it shabby? Yes to both. But it felt like a real place, do you know what I mean? 
Anyway, if you have experiences of the centre or opinions on anything in this video, then do let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheerio.